Hey guys, it's John again. Um, right, I'm going to do my part two of um, the bees and rock and metal. And um, first of all, we're going to start off with um, great band, John Sykes, Blue Murder, um, with the songs um, Out of Love, Billy, um, Valley of the Kings. Um, not so much one of my favourite. A lot of people love this. Um, I prefer the the next album, which is uh, I'm going to show you in a sec. But yeah, there's one. Still an amazing debut, though. From 1989. That's on Geffen. Um, yeah, this is one of my favourite of theirs. Blue Murder, Nothing But Trouble. And um, check out the song We All Fall Down on uh, YouTube. Killer song. Cry of Love, Run Away, Save My Love, Love Child, Shouldn't Have Let You Go, I Need An Angel, She Knows, Ichiku Park, they do as a version of that on there. It's cool. Probably better than the original. Um, yeah, Run Away, Dance. Just really, really cool songs on there. And um, that's from 93. I remember when that was uh, that was advertised. And the band were, um, or John Sykes was on one of the British heavy, hard rock, heavy metal TV shows at night, at night time. Well, most of us were asleep in bed when I was recording it on VHS. Um, next one. Oh, yeah. This one's going to be... This has um, got King Diamond in. But it's not... Um, the band's actually called Black Rose. And King Diamond was... You know, they've used his name for this CD. Because everybody knows King Diamond. So they just put it out as Black Rose. And nobody um, knew King Diamond was in it. It wouldn't have sold. Um, but this is a night of rehearsal 20 years ago. Obviously, that's uh, more than 20 years ago now. Because this came out in about 1981. Uh, 82, sorry. This CD came out in 2001. So, yeah. Um, the Actually, the, uh, the rehearsal was in September 1980. So, you know, how long we got? 28 years? 28, 38 years. Yeah, 38 years it's going to be this this September. My God. There you go, Black Rose. Um, I actually love this to bits. I have no idea what um, King Diamond's saying half the time, singing about. But honestly, the rawness of it and the guitars in it are just like... They're cranked up to number 11 for sure. And uh, they do some funny experimenting with their songs. There's songs on here like um, Locked Up in the Snow, Holy Mountain Lights, Crazy Tonight, Virgin, Kill for Fun, which is cool, Dr. Cranium, um, The End, I Need Blood. Ra they do a version of Radar Love. Um... But yeah, there you go on the back there. But yeah, I love that. That's always, I've always got to have that in my collection. Uh, I always have it somewhere easy to grab as well, because I always stick it on. So, um, Next one, Blackstone Cherry. This is um another great sounding band. And yeah, they do do some really good songs. I just don't listen to it a huge amount. Um, but yeah, I think this is the debut from 2007. Yeah, that's 2007. The next one is um, Folklore and Superstition, 2008. But honestly, go out and check them out because they are really, really great. And um, what's 
the next one. All oh, right, 2011 is uh, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. And that's... Uh, Blame It on the Boom Boom. That's the song I was trying to think of. They do that song. And I actually enjoy that. Funny. Um, and then this one is one that I got. I think at a charity shop. It's quite pleased to find it actually for, at a charity shop because it saved me buying it full price. But 2014, that's all I got to. And this one is called uh, Magic Mountain. And I've not listened to this, so I don't know the songs. So it says on here on their hype sticker today's torch bearers of southern rock so yeah that's what I would uh, say they were right another little known band some of you out there might not have heard this band no I'm kidding I've just realized I've left a CD of it there's in my car and the CD is um, Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. And the, uh, the no particular order. First CD, Black Sabbath, Mob Rules. 1981. Just absolutely, you know, this is, this ain't my favourite Dio one though. My favourite Dio one will be Dehumanizer, then Heaven and Hell, and then this one. <coughs> Sabotage. This is one of my favourites of the um, Aussie era, 1975. I I love nearly 98% of that for sure. Um, the Eternal Idol, Digipack, with um. The Ray Gillen sessions on CD2. And there's uh, Tony Martin. For some reason, the CD's gone walkabout. God knows where that is. Better leave that out. Um, Paranoid. Three disc edition. With um, Regent Sound Recordings. June 1970 on disc 3, a DVD, 1974 Quadraphonic Mix, and the original album, 1970, on disc 1. But yeah. These are great. I like all, all this, but these Blumen Digipacks are just a pain in the arse. Look at how squash that is. Um, my favourite live Black Sabbath album. It was live at last, but then they did it as a deluxe edition later on, called it Past Lives. And listen to the song Megalomania in this, and it's just absolutely killer. Um, but yeah, awesome. 2002 when I bought this. And again, did you pack? Squashed as hell. Bloody things are horrible. Um, and... The last album, absolutely amazing, love this. Favourite song on here is Dam Damaged Soul. Actually, I love all the whole album, but Damaged Soul just kicks ass. <laughs> and uh, there you go. Um, <clears throat> Reunion. I've had this one, this one since day one when it came out. Probably about 97, 98. And, uh, yeah, mine, 98 it came out. And mine's quite beaten up. And that's the uh, limited deluxe edition double CD. An amazing best of. Best of Black Sabbath. These are quite easy to get hold of. Now and cheap. 32 tracks on there. Um, one that 
I don't think I've ever seen anybody else show. And mine has for some reason got damaged. And I'd like to find another one. But it's actually um, Black Sabbath, Black Mass. It's only four tracks on here. So I really couldn't call this an album, but um, it's a visually enhanced CD containing live rare four track movie. But it's a CD as well, so you know you can play it as normal. Uh, it's got Paranoid, Black Sabbath, Iron Man, and Blue Suede Shoes. Uh, this used to have fluid or liquid in it. In It was like red blood. And uh, the bats used to move around, but you can see now the fluid has somehow escaped. Or the liquid. And the bats have, um, for some reason, dried up and their wings have snapped off. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe Ozzy's uh, Ozzy's tried eating them in that picture. Um, first album, Black Sabbath, amazing, amazing, amazing. That's all I need to say about that. Uh, Heaven and Hell, awesome album. My favourite track on there, Lady Evil. And uh, yeah, Children of the Sea as well. Born Again. Absolutely killer. Disturbing the priest. <laughs> that was my introduction into the Ian Gillen ooh, uh, side of the band. And when I heard that on a compilation CD, I was like, my God, that is just killer. And then, then I heard Zero the Hero, and I just thought that guitar riff was like the most menacing thing I'd heard for <laughs> ages. And yes... I play it a lot. Um, Black Sabbath, Paranoids, Fairies Wear Boots, um, <laughs> War Pigs, Paranoid, Planet Caravan, Hand of Doom, Electric Funeral, Iron Man, just classic. One of my top three, definitely, of the early 70s. Well, I mean 70s. Um, Master of Reality. Again, one of my top three of uh, that time. Sweet Leaf, After Forever, Children of the Grave, uh, Into the Void, just absolutely killer. Um, Embryo is uh, on the Solitude. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, I've got another copy of that first album. We sold our soul for rock and roll. And I've got this one's the 2004 double disc. Um, it's there, which I must have picked up from a car boot or something or a charity shop because it's a bit worn out on the cover. And then this one. I'm not sure if this is uh, one that um, I'm not sure if this is one that Dan Power sent me, but it's got the uh, this is the 1986 Made in France edition. Let's have a look. Hmm. Castle Communications. I'm not sure where I got that one. I might have picked up myself, I don't know. Um, then I've got some of my son's old CDs, because he don't want them anymore. And he's never opened them. So I've got Volume 4, uh, Digipack, still sealed. Uh, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, remastered Digipack, still sealed. These are 2009s. Um, Master of Reality. With the slip case. So. Black Sabbath. Live Evil. This is a, a live album I've, I don't really play. Um, the first time I heard this I was actually quite put off. Put off by it. I was just thinking. Nah. Even though Dio sings on this. 
This is probably my one of my least favourite Dio things he's done. Alright, then got the uh, Sabbath collection with the SS's there, look, look. Controversial. Um, right, so Castle Communications. This is 1985 one. Technical Ecstasy, which has got a few great songs on here. It's all right. Um, Dirty Women's the best song on here for sure. Um, Backstreet Kids, Rock and Roll Doctor. Uh, the worst Sabbath album, I think, apart from two songs. And that will be Johnny Blade and Junior's Eyes are my favourite. And that's uh, 1978's uh, Never Say Die. Other than that, it's my least favourite Aussie um, Black Sabbath album. Sabotage, my son, another one of my sons. It's just been not opened. And uh, yeah, again, one of my top few, uh, top favourite seventies ones. I really, um, I really love this album a lot. Forbidden, probably the worst Black Sabbath album ever. Oh, yeah, next to that seventh, seventh star thing. Not really into that. Um, but yeah, this has uh, got only about two good songs in it that I like. Guilty as Hell and Kiss of Death. Um, I won't cry for you, Jesus Christ. I like that, but not so much anymore. But the rest of it is uh, not into that. Sabbath Stones. This is where I um, first heard Disturbing the Priest with Ian Gillen. This was a, this is a, this is actually a cheap um, compilation that's actually amazing. So um, got some really cool stuff on here. But there's no Aussie stuff. No Aussie stuff on there at all. Um, Black Sabbath's first album on Digi. The Eternal Idol, the standard CD, which is a, a good kick-ass, guitar-driven, heavy riff um, album, Black Sabbath Volume 4. Awesome. The best Dio Black Sabbath album. This is heavy as, and listen to Computer God, After All, The Dead, TV Crimes, Let Us, that, just the whole bloody thing. <laughs> Too late. Um, that is just a 10 out of 10 album for me. Um, Cross Purposes, with Tony Martin, the last one. This is actually better than people think. This is it's actually quite, quite, um, an amazing album. Um, definitely better than TYR or however you pronounce it. Tia. Um, or, and better than Headless Cross to be quite honest. So people should get this. It's bloody expensive on vinyl. But CD should be able to get cheap now. Headless Cross. Nightwing. Black Moon. Headless Cross. Devil and Daughter. When Death Calls. This is actually the best one. Headless, Headless Cross. For. Um, alongside this. Tony Martin. Um, this one's. Uh, not as good as Headless Cross. But it has the amazing song. Um, uh, feels good to me. It's got the Sabbath Stones. Heaven in Black. And a Monday. Still some good ones on there. It's not crap. It's, it's a good album. And bloody expensive trying to find that original as well. And that's the 1990 original. Um, here's the classic rocks version of that. 
um, Live at Last, which I think this is the one I got from from Dan Powers. So yeah, that one there. Thank you, Dan. Anyway, I've already said to you, thank you, but uh, just to remind you. But yeah. Oh yes, it is from Dan because he'd written in it. Look. And he's, uh, yeah, he even put the members of the band. March the 27th, 1999, Danny George Powers. And then we sold our soul for Rock and Roll Volume 2. Another Dan Powers CD. Just that. But yeah, definitely Dan's written up there. 1996. And then another Dan Powers one, um, Black Sabbath Children of the Grave. And I've not played these yet. That's another 1990, that's a 1996 one. Sorry, 2001. Or must be a reissue of the 96 one. But yeah, I'm going to stick them on actually and have a listen to these. Um, so that's it for. Um, the bees at the moment um unless i find something else um i'll have to do a part three <laughs> i don't think there is i did show that one yes i did return lighter yes right cheers keep rocking see you later